All right, so I've been working out, and like I was in the middle of working out, so I still got my wrist things on, but I got hit with I need to talk about this idea. My homie keeps trying to get me to make a video about this, so I'm going to make a video about this. What, like, I like Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. It's honestly one of my favorite psychedelics, but that's because when I got into psychedelics, I got into them from smoking DMT, like NN DMT. So I was smoking DMT, traveling dimensions, med learning meditation, learning breath work, learning all these things. And that was what I thought psychedelics were. So when I did mushrooms or LSD, I thought it was going to be like the DMT experience, but for 12, like I thought LSD was going to be DMT for 12 hours, which is why before using LSD or before trying it, I was scared to try it because I was like, you know, I've taught myself how to manage the, you know, smoking DMT, the DMT experience, but that only lasts five to 10 minutes. So I was thinking, damn, I can't imagine what the fuck it would be like to be in that for 12 hours. Then I do LSD and I find out that it's not like that at all. And it's its own thing. Now, I then, you know, do Hawaiian baby Woodrow seeds. And the seeds remind me more of DMT, of this thing. Like, I feel like I connect more with the spirit of the thing than I do with something like LSD. Maybe because LSD is a you know, semi-synthetic molecule, so we made LSD, so, you know, and not that there's, you know, one's better than the other, it's that I genuinely think it's like, because I could feel the spirit or the soul of Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds, I could feel the soul in DMT or ayahuasca, I could feel the soul in the plants and herbs I use, but it seems more like semi-synthetic or synthetic molecules seem more like tools that we can use instead of teachers like lsd is like a tool that can help us and hawaiian baby woodrow seeds is like a teacher that can help us slightly different so it's like the hawaiian baby woodrow seeds is my favorite out of the morning glories in that because, like, I would just, my preferred dose, like Terrence McKenna would talk about five grams in silent darkness of psychedelic mushrooms. My thing was 10 Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds crushed up into it, like, you know, crushed up with a rock or, like, in a powder or whatever. Crush it up. You let them soak in, you let those 10 seeds soak in a cup of, like, spring water. And you basically let it sit in the spring water anywhere between five hours to three days and you know my preferred thing was you know i tried not to go less than eight hours because like i just it starts it soaks up more of whatever i don't know all about the whole thing of how it soaks it up but i know it ends up soaking up the lsa and a few of the other molecules and the longer it sits the more it soaks up in the water and it's a cold water extraction and that's my preferred thing 10 seeds soaked like that and then I would drink it and that and I would sit in silent darkness in a sense where the only the main difference between Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds and like ayahuasca or mushrooms is that you have to fight the sleep this is why I compared it to the spiritual mother war experience because I would go on deep spiritual experiences with mother war and, you know, at a high enough dose of mother war, it starts to get spiritual on you if you can fight the sleep, because at that dose, it's also trying to put you to sleep. So if you can fight the sleep, then you'll be able to have more of a spiritual experience from it. So it's the same thing with, with Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. If you can fight the sleep, you will have visions and, and it's not really visual on the outside. You don't see that many visuals on the outside. And like the visuals are reminiscent of, it's like a mixture between ayahuasca visuals and LSD visuals. It's like if ayahuasca visuals were, were like ergamite or like, I don't know, like LSD-esque. I don't know how to explain it, but, and they're barely there. 
Like, it's like you can barely, you'll look at a wall and you can barely see the thing. Like, the, it's just barely there. But then, when you close your eyes, it starts to be more there. But, it's like it takes me to the same world that ayahuasca takes me to, or DMT takes me to, just from a different perspective. Because Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds did something that no other psychedelic has ever done for me, and that is showed me visions of the future. Like, actual visions of the fucking future. Like... It'd be like I was in this tunnel that kind of looks like the DMT tunnel, but smaller, more tube-like, like little tubes that are like going through things. And so it's smaller, and it's like this tube thing, and I'm going through this tubed tunnel, and it's like at certain parts of the tube tunnel, there's exit points. And like you're going through, there's another exit point and another exit point, and then there's a giant curve and another giant curve, but then there's a, a side exit point, like side doors. And in these side exit points, there would be moments of in time of this act of the human world. Like, because I'm I'd be closing my eyes and I'm going through this thing, which a tunnel that kind of looks like this, but the this DMT type tunnel, but like I said, more like a tube. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen Futurama. But Futurama, how they have those tubes going through their city, it was like that, but the psychedelic tunnel tubes. And then I would go to pit stops, and in those pit stops would be the human world. But it would look like I was looking, because even going through the tubes, even when you look at these things of the future, it looks like you're looking through water, or like... You know how, like, if water's moving a little bit, it's hard to see, but the if the water is still, you can see through it. But if the water is slightly moving, it's slightly hard to see through it. It was, like, almost like that, where there was, like, some type of substance in between me seeing what I was seeing and, like, how there was a sub a something in front of me, like water or, or some type of smoke-like water substance... But then beyond it was the visuals that I was seeing. So I would go into this and I would go into this world. And I learned so much from the visions of, of the future, from it trying to warn me. Like I was doing Hawaiian Baby Woodrow Seeds before I went through the breakup two, like two and a half years ago. And when I was doing it, it's like it tried warning me once, but I didn't understand until after because... The way it speaks is in visions. It like, it's trying to communicate with you, but through visions and through this and that. And because it was showing me visions of the future, it's it was showing me there was visions that I had that were like, like danger or just warning or like I don't know how to explain it, but they felt like warnings. But I didn't know what the fuck it was warning me from, until after. Now. I've had so much experiences with Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds, but it's more of the dangerous psychedelic. Like how ayahuasca is a dangerous psychedelic. You can't just do ayahuasca all the time and you have to watch what you eat when you take it. You have to watch what you're like. It's one of those things. And it's the same type thing with Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds, except more dangerous because with Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds, I actually got vasoconstriction. That's why I stopped using it. Like, my right arm got extreme vasoconstriction for two weeks. Like, two weeks of, like, I stopped using it, and then I still felt this vasoconstriction for two weeks after I stopped using it. And it reminded me that, oh, that's a dangerous, like, like I got to be more careful with that one. Because I was going on this plant I had to with it, so I was using it for about three to four months every week. Sometimes multiple times a week. So this was the issues I was having, but that's usually how I do plant dietas in general. I did that same thing with motherwort for six months, where I used motherwort every other day, or sometimes every day, high doses of motherwort, just a high dose of motherwort in the morning or at night, preferably in the morning, because it's easier to fight the sleep. Because I would do the same thing with Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. It's easier to fight the sleep of it if you just woke up from sleeping, right? Like, so I would like to, I did these things in the morning 
So then it was easier for me to fight the sleep. But, you know, with ayahuasca, you don't necessarily have to fight the sleep. It is, like, I don't know, like, heavy, but not as heavy as Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. So, the Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds seems more spiritual, more, like, I traveled into this, through these tube things. They weren't always about seeing the future. Sometimes it was me traveling through this tube thing, and swear to God, it reminded me of Futurama, where it's like, I'm traveling through this tube thing, but below me is the, this fractal city of some sort the the city and like it almost reminds me because i guess kind of like it has some things of lsd in it because like the fractal city that i was going through reminds me of the fractal city i see when i'm looking at the ceiling on lsd like if i take a high enough dose of lsd and i'm looking at the ceiling there's like some fractal city inside of the ceiling when i did hawaiian baby woodrow seeds you know and my eyes are closed i'm silent darkness i have a blindfold on and i'm just going in in it it's like i'm there would be some trips where i'd be going through that fractal city where i'm fully immersed inside of it instead of just looking at it and it's like i'm going through this tube these tubes that are going through this this city of some sort and like, but it is that same type city thing that I see when I'm on a high dose of LSD, when I'm just looking at the ceiling. But there's a difference between looking at the ceiling and looking at it. And you're like, oh, I'm sitting in this chair and I'm looking up and I see this thing in the ceiling. There's a difference between that and closing your eyes and going in through the city where the fractal things on the ceiling you know, they're the size of the ceiling. Like, it's like a, a city inside of the ceiling type shit. But when I'm going through it, the city is as big as a city. Where the little small fractal buildings on the ceiling are as big as normal skyscraper buildings in real life. Where it's like, I'm going through it. But Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds is interesting. Because I've had a lot of spiritual experiences. But I used to do the seeds with my ex-girlfriend. And she had a lot of spiritual experiences with it, right? Like, I mean, going to, going on an alien spaceship, meeting like alien moth beings and the Anunnaki, and she met the Anunnaki before she knew what the fuck it was. And like, there was a lot of weird, she had a lot of weird experiences with it that were even more weird than me because I have experience with traveling through with DMT and all of that. So it's like I had some knowledge of what was before going into it. She didn't. So like when she'd come out of a trip asking what the Anunnaki was, I'm like, bro, where the fuck did you even hear that? Where do you even get this knowledge from? Like I was confused, right? And then she had a trip once that reminded me of a DMT trip I had once where, you know, she was, we both took Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. And she would go into it and she would like, she had this one trip where she said this being like threw her, like she was kind of in space and this being threw her into this, like onto this planet where this planet had like a bunch of just, you know, it was like a planet full of women. And like, she got this like spiritual flower type bath in, in, in this place and like some interesting experiences, but these are experiences where you end up being immersed inside of the experience. Now, I say fight the sleep, but she would just go into it, and sometimes she would basically, like, fall asleep, but then she would have these visions. Now, I had visions, too, sometimes when I would just fall asleep, but I guess it's not really falling asleep. Um, There are times where I would take the... I would take the, you know... Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds and I would just kind of fall asleep and it's black nothingness so then I'm like oh I actually fell asleep like uh, like because like it's hard to fight the sleep and even if you fight if you fall asleep as long as you remain conscious you'll still have a spiritual experience with it where 
almost like a spiritual dream, but it's not a dream. It's a trip, but like, it's this whole thing. And the whole experience is very all over the place. Like, just like I've done DMT hundreds of times, but every DMT trip was different. I've done the Hawaiian baby Woodrow seeds about 80 times and every single trip was different. It wasn't always the same thing. It wasn't always taking me to the same place. It wasn't always showing me visions of the future. It wasn't always, you know, getting me in contact with aliens or traveling through space and time or uh, all. It wasn't always like that, but it was it just kind of bounced all over the place. Um, sometimes it felt like there was some entity or grandmother there to teach me or sometimes it didn't um a lot of times the beginning like as it's coming up I would just sit still like I would literally just kind of like I don't know how to explain it but I would try to just make it through because I found a way to not throw up on it if I could just sit still or if I could wait to throw up about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes after I take it, then I'm like, it doesn't matter if I throw up. If you throw up like before 40 minutes, it might, excuse me, it might not work. But if, so I would just find a way to sit through it. Now, even after the 40 minutes or whatever, there'd be some trips where I'm just kind of on the ground, bro. Like, like, like I'm trying to stand up, but it's so heavy that I'm just, I'm kneeling to the floor and like trying to sit down in this chair, but it'd be like I'm kneeling on the floor trying to get up, but I can't because it's just kicking my ass because I feel nauseous. I feel so heavy. I feel like I'm fucking dying. Like there's that part of it, which reminds me of ayahuasca, how like you drink ayahuasca, you're not going to feel like you took some LSD and you're ready to party. Like, no. I, but that's I like that about Hawaiian baby Woodrow seeds, that it kicks your ass physically, not just spiritually. Like physically, you're gonna feel like, like you can't even stand up. You're gonna feel like, like there's like gravity just got so heavy that you're just like can barely lift your head up. Where like you're gonna feel like nauseous and not being able to move too much because you're nauseous and like. That only usually that only lasts like about two hours. After the two hour mark, you don't really feel as nauseous and you can move around and stuff. But that first two hours is rough and it's hard to get through. But I like that about the experience because I I like the fact that it's hard to get to the the thing. So I would have to train myself just like I did with D 